Well, hello there, and good evening, uh, YouTube. I'm uh, William Brantley, uh, ready to share with you today's uh, climate summary and give you a forecast for the next few days uh, momentarily. Uh, it turned out to be a cloudy, wet day here in Jackson, Tennessee today. Uh, we got a little bit more rain to deal with for the evening, but it should be gone uh, by daybreak tomorrow morning, it looks like. Uh, reporting live, by the way, from uh, Bemis, Tennessee, the weather summary. I did forget to mention that, <laughs> I think. All right, uh, let me move on to the climate data, like always. As of 6 p.m. this evening, the skies were cloudy. We had uh, light rain falling at that time here in Bemis. The temperature was 46 degrees at uh, 6 p.m., and it's 47 degrees now. It just went up one degree. And that's the high for today, too. Yep, temperature just went up one degree, 47 degrees. All right. Uh, the dew point uh, was 43 degrees at 6 p.m. Uh, relative humidity was 93%. We had southeast winds of 6 miles per hour. And the barometric pressure was 29.97 inches of mercury. Uh, today's low was 37 degrees. That occurred at midnight last night, or this morning. And today's high, like I mentioned, 47 degrees as of 8.44 p.m. is today's high. Rainfall uh, since midnight, I've had 43 hundredths of an inch. Uh, the uh, highest wind gust today was uh, 17 miles per hour out of the southeast at the Jackson, Tennessee airport. At, uh, at 2.18 p.m. Today's records for January the 12th, the hottest high would be 74 degrees in 2017. <laughs> Boy, it was nice and warm just two years ago. 74 degrees for high. Compare that to today's 46 degrees. What a difference. Coldest high would be 20, and that happened in 1997. The warmest low would be 46, I'm sorry, uh, 64, I'm sorry, yeah, warmest low would be 64 degrees in 1995 and 2013, while the coldest low would be minus 1, 1 below 0 in 1962. Today's rainfall record would be 1.58 inches, and that occurred in 1989. And the snowfall record today, whoo, we had quite a bit of snow here in Jackson, Tennessee, back in 1975. Five inches of snow today on January the 12th, 1975. Five inches of snow. And that's, so, that's a, a fairly common amount that occurred up in parts of uh, uh, Missouri last night and Illinois and, and Kentucky and Indiana just north of us, uh, north of the Tennessee-Kentucky border, though. Uh, none that I know of along the Tennessee border. A significant accumulation anyways. But back in 1975, five inches fell right here in Jackson. All right, that's the uh, basic climate summary for you. I'll go ahead and move on to a uh, few graphs, uh, including the latest radar, which I'm fixing to show you right now. Let me move that over a touch so that you can see it better. It's as of uh, 840. Uh, maybe five minutes ago at max most <laughs> and you can see it's still some rain in the area right now in the Jackson Madison County area it uh, has moved almost uh, out temporarily uh, not much rain going on in Madison County at the moment but there's more moving in from the southwest from the Memphis area so uh, the rain's not over to probably around 4 or 5 o'clock tomorrow morning toward daybreak. Alright, uh, let me expand that a little bit here. Give you a better wide view of the area. And let you know there is more coming. A uh, light rain drizzle at, at best. Uh, let's see. That's a little bit better view of uh, West Tennessee there. Uh, let me see if I can get that there. That's a little bit better. It extends all the way down to just southwest of Memphis, actually. 
Uh, so it's going to last a uh, few more hours, but uh, almost all night, since it's going to be just before daybreak, before it finally ends. And uh, the snow is over well over in East Tennessee, over North Carolina. A little bit of snow still going on north of us near St. Louis, it looks like. And let me branch out a little bit further so you can see that. Where the snow is uh, taking place. Uh, that's a pretty good view right there, even though it's way out. It's still snowing from uh, about St. Louis and the parts of northern Missouri mainly. Through Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, West Virginia, Virginia. And trying to start doing it in North Carolina. And went along the coast over there. Let me zoom that in just a little bit. And see the locations a little bit better. Let me uh, bring There we go. I can bring it. I can see it a little bit better now. And it's snowing in Maryland. Uh, Washington, D.C. apparently. Raining along the Gulf. Along the coast though. Uh, sleet. And a mixture of sleet and snow. In North Carolina. Pretty much heavy snow in the mountains of uh, Virginia and West Virginia. And on around, uh, on over to a uh, good part of Illinois. Still snowing some in St. Louis. Let me see if I can get a little closer view of St. Louis. So it'll give you an idea of what it's doing up there. It's still snowing uh, just south of St. Louis especially. Uh, I'm not sure how far south that is. Between the Jefferson City and St. Louis. Let me get a little closer so there's any towns are named here. Uh, St. Fran... Uh, well, I can't... I don't know how to pronounce that exactly. Uh, Imperial. And I don't... Uh, I'm not, I don't think you can see it clear enough to really make out the name of it. So I'll just, you can see for yourself there. How far south along I-55 is snowing. Pretty little distance still south of St. Louis. And over toward... Uh, Walla and uh, St. James in that area still trying to snow a little bit in that area. I have some friends that live up in that area. They they, they shared with me they've had quite a bit of snow up in that area of uh, St. Louis. But it uh, it uh, is all rain from uh, there. You see uh, Cape Girardeau's way down here, so uh, it's way on up there toward. Uh, San Francisco or something. <laughs> I'm not really from up that area, so I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And uh, did, did you see where it's uh, still mixed or not? I'm not going to concentrate on it too heavy, but St. Louis pretty much got hammered on that uh, deal. Uh, and of course, uh, let me see, up north of them, let me branch that out a little bit more. See how, you, how widespread it is. Actually, like the Chicago might have missed a little bit of that one. St. Louis got more in Chicago. More, it looked like it's trying to go toward Chicago. A pretty good area, a pretty good area of snow there, really. Just up north of us. Stretching from still Missouri, uh, over Missouri, all the way over to uh, the Atlantic Coast. Just south of New York, matter of fact. And really getting a good start in Pennsylvania. But oh, uh, we got lucky down here in Tennessee and Jackson area. We got all rain here. It tried to mix briefly last night between about 8 p.m. to around 11 p.m. in spots, but it didn't last long. I didn't see any myself, but I did hear reports around of at least some sleep, but I never did see any myself. But then again, I was on the computer doing the videos, so I might have missed it. Alright, uh, as you see, we have a little bit more rain to deal with here in uh, Jackson, West Tennessee for the rest of the evening. And uh, it should lighten up quite a bit after midnight, though. Alright, uh, let me go on to the uh, National... I'll tell you what, let me show you this real quick. The, not, the Weather Service in uh, St. Louis, Missouri put out this snowfall observation up there. They had reported to them through 9 a.m. this morning and you can see where the heaviest snow fell. The St. Louis area had uh, like 8 to 12 inches 
and in that area, in that big bright orange there, that's roughly uh, 12 to 18 inches of snow fell in that area. And uh, here are some Pacifica Mountains, Mounts. Fulton had 15 and a half inches. Middleton had uh, le uh, 13 and a half inches. And some of the other locations. Uh, Eureka ten, had 10 and a half inches. I think Eureka is part of where, where the Six Flags in St. Louis is located at. Actually in Eureka. They had pretty good snow up there. Even there, 10 and a half inches. And there you see some of the other locations there. I thought I'd share that with you for informational purposes, of course. All right, that's the going to the national forecast map, according to the National Weather Service. Let me get this map over so you can see it a little bit better. That's tonight's forecast map, I believe. Yeah, the way the map looked like around 3 p.m. Uh, snow and rain mixed and snow for the north, as you can see. We saw all that on radar just a moment ago. Freezing rain and uh, all over in uh, North Carolina and Virginia and that area. There you see where it's located there. And there you see where the rest of the country looks like. Most of the precipitation is all in this area here of the country. And it's a mixed bag, uh, especially uh, sort of, I would say south of the Ohio River, but Ohio River is coming too far down south to say, say that for sure. Well, you can see the location without me mentioning it. Matter of fact, uh, I need to quit. Nah, I ain't going to quit, but you know what I mean. Uh, tomorrow morning's forecast map. Whoops, I think I got the whole wrong one. National Weather Service says the map should look like this tomorrow morning. Around daybreak. Three low pressures, my goodness. <laughs> uh, taking care of the weather, creating cloudy skies, and most of the rain should be east of Jackson by tomorrow morning. Middle and East Tennessee might get a little bit more rain over there. Snow still possible to our north. Rain and snow mixed up there. Uh, freezing rain still in North Carolina, Virginia is possible. Over in that area, west of the country, <laughs> excuse me, there's a chance of rain and snow and snow out in the Four Corners area a little bit. Some rain expected out there in California some. And then you see the northern portions of the country the way it looks. So this is a concentration spot for tomorrow for precipitation. All right. Uh, let's look at uh, Monday morning's forecast map. Uh, most of the snow and rain, if they be gone, except in the Appalachian Mountains. <laughs> Uh, from West Virginia down to Tennessee and North Carolina. All of it will be off the coast by then. Well, of course, the Bible needs to be as heavy as it's gotten in some parts of the country. All right, uh, there you see the rest of the nation. Don't look too bad of shape. Uh, okay, I think that covers it pretty good. The blue line again represents rain and snow mixed. Uh, white is snow and... Uh, What's the other colors? Uh, green for rain, of course. Uh, rain and thunderstorms for orange, but don't have none of that on there. Blue for rain and snow, and snow for white. Okay, that's what I thought. All right, uh, let's move on to, I've already showed you that. I'll go ahead and give, uh, give you the readout forecast. Uh, I'll go ahead and let you read it with me. I'll, this one, I can. I know what you're what I'm looking at on this one on YouTube. Uh, the moon sets tonight at 11:10 uh, p.m. and Sunday, mostly cloudy to, to rest of tonight and um, all of Sunday actually, with a 40% chance of more rain throughout the evening, light rain or drizzle, and it should end around 4 a.m. I forgot to change that 8 a.m. to 4 a.m. I'll change that when I get through the video. It should end around 4 a.m. or before sunrise anyways. Then just be mostly cloudy rest of tomorrow. Low near 40, a high of 42. So it's going to be kind of a stale, cool day today, tomorrow, without the rain uh, after daybreak anyways. Northwest winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. It's going to be cool in that regard. Sunrise is at 7.04, sets at 5.03. Hey, we're getting sunrise, uh, sunset weather after 5 o'clock. 
The moon rises tomorrow morning at 11.29 a.m. Sets so at 11.43 p.m. tomorrow night. Uh, for Monday, it looks like mostly cloudy. Skies continue. With low near 34, high 41. But north winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. There you see the sunrise and moonrise set times. The first quarter moon uh, will be complete uh, on uh, uh, Monday. All right, uh, Tuesday's forecast. Finally, finally, fair skies. Low of 30, high of 48, with west winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. There you see the other times. And on Wednesday, uh, fair skies until Wednesday night. Then, oh boy, back to mostly cloudy again. Low near 32, high 54. 54 is going to be nice. With southwest with 10 to 20 miles per hour. And on Thursday, uh, back mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of rain. Low 40, high 56. With south winds at 10 to 20. And it looks like on Friday, another cloudy day. With a 70% chance of rain. With a low near 50 or 59 south winds at 10 to 10. Uh, next Saturday, 70% uh, chance of rain, mostly cloud. With low near 43 or high 97. With north winds at 15 to 5 miles per hour. I think we'll have another system of moving across the area of the, by next Saturday and Sunday. And next Sunday, as of now, uh, fair skies, uh, low of high of 37. Woo! That's at 10 to 20 miles per hour. I might as well give you next Monday. Uh, January 1st, Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. Fair skies, till Monday night, they're mostly cloudy. Low of 17, high of 40, for south wind 10 to 20 miles per hour. All right, that's the next nine days for you. I'm sure that will change uh, over the next few days, which, which is actually normal. Uh, once again, cloudy skies with uh, 40% of more rain tonight. Uh, ending sunrise or before then tomorrow morning. Then rainy mostly cloudy, low of 40, 42, with northwest winds at 10 to 20 mile an hour tomorrow. Alrighty, let me see. I, I think that's it. Let me turn the camera around real briefly so I can say goodbye to everybody. Uh, thank you for watching and viewing and your patience with me over taking the time to explain all that. <laughs> and I'll, you do need to know it, would like to know it, I'm sure, because I, I know I want to know it. Well, alrighty. Uh, good night. God bless you. Hope to talk to you again tomorrow night.